Pro knows photo. Dot com. I had somebody request for me to work on the split toning panel here in the develop module in Lightroom 3. Now, it's one of those things that I don't play with a whole lot, and so I figured, eh, why not? It should be a fun one. Let's see what happens. Uh, split toning is all about a black and white image or a monochrome image, and then modify that monochrome image to have one color in the highlights and another color in the shadows. So that's really what kind of the basics of what you're doing with it and how you're changing the image. So this image is pretty monochromatic as is, as you see uh, in its original form. And so I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to black and white. Now, there are some presets here that come in, come along with Lightroom, and um, you can mouse over those and take a look at those. Um, they're neither good nor bad, um, but to me, I'm all about doing things on my own and finding my own way to do it and creating my own image. So, um, instead of someone else's kind of thoughts on the image or how somebody else thinks it should be, I want to do it my way. So let's see what happens split toning panel now first thing we're gonna do is pick a color for our highlights and then pick a color for our shadows now in my experience I've always seen it so that you have a cold tone for one and then a warm tone for the other color alright so you have a little bit of a contrast whereas if you had two cold tones or too warm to, or you know too warm maybe it won't quite work as much as well but you know what it's one of those things where you're really breaking the rules anyway you're really kind of throwing everything out the window so um, you know why not you try it one way if you don't like it maybe you create another virtual copy and then you know, go get a cup of coffee and come back and figure out what you like you really never know and you know it basically comes down to what do you like how do you want to create the image and uh, you know what what's your end result going to be so i've chosen two colors here and then you can you can use the hue slider or you can use the color picker like i showed you the eyedropper okay for each one uh you can even type in a number if you really wanted to if you know your color numbers well uh and then the next one is the amount of saturation uh, now, I like to start out with a high saturation when I'm doing this so that I can really see where my colors are, okay? You can clearly see in here in the highlights and the lighter colors you, that, that the greens are really showing up right here. There's a green color chosen and the greens are really showing really well and they're nice and saturated there, okay? And the same thing with a darker color around the bell, okay? You can really see those reds, how they're showing up with that high saturation. Now, if this was my creative feel to the image, I'd probably be pretty satisfied with it. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, but I think I'm going to back off on those colors because I like a more subtle effect. I don't like it to be super, super strong like that. So let's back off on it quite a bit and see where we're at. Now, the best ones that I have seen, best split toning images that I have seen, always seem to have something else done to them. Alright, so I'm going to add a lot of other things to this to really pump it up, to give it a lot more contrast, you know, maybe blow completely blow out my exposure, uh, or, you know, really make some major adjustments um, I definitely wouldn't want to go down in exposure, I don't think, but up I think would be a good thing to really show those highlights and those bright areas. I think it would be pretty neat. We could even play with our white balance. You know, why not? We get a really, really funky tone going on right there uh, by pushing our temperature way, way down. Uh, but you really never know what you're going to get by playing with it. You know, you got to remember you're working with a monochrome image, so why wouldn't you play with your white balance? You're just pushing color around 
uh, to see what comes out and try it out. You know, just playing with a couple of sliders, you might end up with something that's really, really cool and just a single distinctive image. Now, I really like this. I think this really works. Uh, it's got the, the nice reds and, of course, the, you know, the warm tone and the cold tone, which, again, is, is my feel on it. That doesn't mean that you need to stick with that. doesn't mean that you have to do it, but you can. Now, maybe you don't like that contrast. You could always switch it back to a very flat and monochrome image. So let's, uh, you know what, let's reset this once. All right, go all the way back. <clears throat> this is a very flat, so let's make it even flatter. Get rid of all of our blacks. Okay, let's take our contrast down a little bit. Even bring our clarity down a little bit. And let's see what happens. Now come down here to our split toning panel. I'm going to pick those same colors. Okay, see what we come up with. And again, it's just completely different. It has a, th this image almost looks like it's 30 years old off of a roll of film that was sitting in, you know, your grandparents' camera or something, uh, or you cross-processed it. Uh, and if anybody doesn't know what cross-processing is, is when you would take uh, a, a uh, slide film and then process it in a in a c41 chemistry to give you this really weird colors um one thing i did forget to mention is the balance here you can push it from a lot more of the shadows to a lot more of the highlights as far as how the color is um i think to me again it's it's really how do i want to do it how do i want the image to look this is a very flat image which Hey, pretty cool. Uh, you know what? I'm going to come back on that clarity because I like to see the, those details. As you see, when I brought that clarity down, it really cut back on all the detail, but I want to keep that detail, I think, at least some of it. Now, let's see what saturation does. Not really anything, which is to be expected, and I'm guessing Vibrance isn't going to do anything either. No, Vibrance actually is. So, there you go. There's something else to play with. And another thought. You know, maybe you, you want that vibrance to go up. Oh, there it is. Now I'm seeing the saturation. I must be crazy. So, anyway, play around with it. Create something different. Create, create, create. It's not, it's not about what somebody else thinks your image should be. It's about what you think the image should be. Alright? Greg Cazillo. Fro knows. Photo. Dot com. Get out there and create. See ya. Ah!